Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this is first time watching. My name is Ana Cole. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a almost full face of Wanda Beauty makeup. And the reason for that is, is I want to try out their eyeshadow. I got this palette from Ipsy um, as a part of a deal. Um, the Wand the Wanderers palette. Um, I got this part of a deal for $10 from Ipsy. So I got a lipstick and a blush with it, I believe. I think I got the girl powder from the balm. It's like a blush and then I got a contacts brown lipstick. But these are the shades. The other product that I want to try is their Unleashed Volume Mascara. And I just grabbed the mini size because um, I have a lot of mascara. I don't really need a full size. So the mini size they have at Sephora. Um, and then their mascaras are always in like a little tube. I have their Mile High. Their Mile High uh, mascara is pretty good. But this one is for volume and curl. So we're going to go ahead and try that out along with the eyeshadow palette. Um, and then I do have their foundation. This is in the shade medium. If I know what I remember, it's a little on the light side, but we're just going to go ahead and go with it. I don't think I have to go anywhere today. And then I have a brush and blush and bronzer set. Um, I got this from BoxyCharm. And then I also happened to get another one from BizKit or BizAgent. And it was the exact same shade. They do have two shades in this. So this one is the darker blush. They have a lighter blush and a lighter bronzer. I wish I would have got the other variation, but it's okay. Um, I also have a highlighter. This is in the shade After Hours. There we go. Okay. And then I have a Wander Beauty Catch the Light Highlighter in Glow Shin. Um, I've used this before, but I wasn't really a fan of the formula. So I think I'm just going to use the regular highlighter over that. Um, and I already prepped my face, so I used my Daily Hydration Moisturizer. And then I used my... I don't know where it went, but I used the All Nighter Primer. Um, it's almost empty, so I'll have to find another primer to use. Um, my e.l.f. ones have expired. They're no good, so I need to get another primer. And I did receive some recommendations, but they weren't safe for some sort of skin according to the brand so I haven't gotten anything else to try yet um, but I do plan on it so if you have any suggestions that you know are safe for sensitive skin just drop a comment down below and I will check them out okay so to get started obviously we're going to start with foundation um, and then for concealer today I decided I don't have their concealer so I'm using a combination of Tarte's creaseless concealer What's this one and um, Too Faced Born This Way. Um, the creases concealer is a little on the light side and then this is like my skin tone. So I like to use this to cover up my scarring on like my chin and stuff. And then I'm going to use my camera powder to set my face. And I think that's it. I'm not going to do eyeliner today. I've been doing pretty bad with the eyeliner so I'm just going to skip it. Um, and then... I have used this before. I can type the video up above. Um, it was like a video that I did trying out new products from, new products to me, from um, my subscription boxes. I will tie that up above if you want to check it out. But they have the rush, like the matte tart foundation. I'm not a fan of these kind of applicators, but um, I remember this being a comfortable foundation. So... Yeah, we're gonna go and try it again. Which honestly, it doesn't look that light now. I don't know. Maybe I was crazy last time I tried it. Um, I lost my sponge, so let me find another one and dampen that one, and I'll be back. Okay, so we are just going to be using an Elf Beauty sponge today. Um, it does have staining on it, but it's okay. I did wash these, so I know it's clean. I will be back after this is blended out. 
Okay, so this is all blended out. Looks pretty good, right? Um, it doesn't look like the shade is too far off. I know I look bright on, under camera lighting, but that's just the camera lighting because it's super bright. I could probably turn it off, but I'm trying to leave it on. It's honestly super bright in here because the sun is shining, so I probably don't even need that. But... All right, so a creaseless concealer under the eyes, and then I'm going to just use the Born This Way on the chin. And a little on the nose. I do have some scarring on my nose as well, so. I don't know how I forgot, but I forgot that I also have Wonder Beauty's eyebrow pencil. Probably because it's not where I left it. Let me see if I have it here. Okay, yes, it was in with the box of stuff that needs to be cleaned. Don't know why it fell in there, but um, I have Wonder Beauty's Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. This is my all-time favorite brow pencil. It's super easy to use. The fact that it is micro makes it easy to get in, and it looks like it's natural brows. And then I also got this from Ipsy last month. This is the Wonder Beauty Frame Your Face Clear... Um brow setter I think I don't remember what exactly what it's called frame your face precise brow gel is what it's called the font is so small and I don't have my glasses on that was really hard to read um so let's go ahead and do brows now I believe I've shown this before but it has a spoolie on one side my spoolie is kind of dirty it definitely needs cleaned yeah definitely needs cleaned ugh it's gross I'm gonna use a different spoolie <laughs> because that's so dirty um, I, that just means I use this a lot and I, I really do. I really, really do. I believe I got this from Ipsy as well. But here is the pencil. It's small. Really gets in. Makes pretty natural brush strokes like I said. So I'll just go ahead and spoolie these with my lavish spoolie. And I don't do a lot to my brows. Like this is the natural shape of my brows. And I kind of just go along with those hairs. And just kind of fill it in a little bit. Okay. So I also forgot to set my face before I started to do my brows. So I just did that while I, after, right after I did that. So again, I used the Luscious to the True Plus Luscious Camera Powder. Um, this is, I'm at the pan. It's coming up on the expiration, so I just want to use it to get rid of it. Don't want it to go to waste. So, um, what's next? I guess next we will go into eyes. And they do have a transition shade. It's called Sand Dollar. It's a nice neutral brown. So I'll go ahead and pop that in the crease. And this whole palette um, has a little bit of shimmer to it, except for this brown. I think it does have a little bit, but it's not like the rest of the palette. So if you purchase this, just keep in mind they are all shimmers, except for one. And there is a lot of fallout. I'm not sure what their palettes retail for. I can look it up after I'm done with the crease and let you guys know. So the eyeshadow palettes, the Wanderous is not the name of the palette. So, I mean, it is, but there's actually a set on Sephora right now. So, this is the Seascape version. Um, there is a Rush, a Fling, obviously the Seascape. They only have the two, but they retail for $25. Let me see what their actual website says. So, the full size of this um, retails for $24. There is a Wanderous Escape eyeshadow palette, which is bigger, that retails for $42. Um, so there's Rush, Fling, Off Duty, The Seascape, 
there is a blush and highlight version of it and that's it and then you have the big version for the 42 which includes like I guess like two shades from each of the different ones because it's only a 10 pan palette so doesn't look too bad um they're where'd it go oh I didn't set my brows I have to do that um okay so the phone oh I'm in the wrong thing I'm stupid I'm sorry I believe the foundation retails for 40 yes the foundation retails for $40 they have a matte concealer for 29 they also have a powder foundation which I'm interested in trying that is not one here they have a translucent powder okay so the the powder foundation is also $40 um, they have a, like a decent amount of products that you can try but yeah so this one is on their website it's not on Sephora but it retails for $25 so because there's not really any mattes in here I don't like doing shimmer on shimmer on shimmer which I may I would I will do more than one shimmer but um, just to bring some more color in I'm going to deepen the outer corner with the bronzer because we all know I don't use bronzer so I'm just going to use that on the outer corner and hope that it works I mean I have used blush on my eyes before but I've never used bronzer so let's see what happens okay. so it's really not any darker than the transition shade I picked it's like a tiny bit darker but on my lid you really can't see the difference so we're just going to do shimmers today and we're going to put this blue this dark blue here which is called coastal on the outer corner and we're going to see what we can do so let me just use my dry sponge to get that brown off and then we're going to dip into this blue so the blue is shimmery but there are definitely like this brown here is definitely more shimmery than this blue so it's not like it's all like glittery looking it will be a little bit but not like as much as some of the other ones and it definitely doesn't really look that shimmery on the lid either like there's a little sheen to it but it's not like boom pop all kinds of shimmers those are the kind of shimmers I really enjoy so I don't really know where I'm going. I guess we'll go with Seafoam because it's like the next closest. It's like a green shimmer. And we'll put that on the other half of the lid. With just a regular old eyeshadow brush. I know this one um, looks like it has more shimmer, but we'll see once it gets on the lid if I can even pick any up. Oh yeah, that's definitely more of a shimmer. It doesn't look like it has green on me though. Maybe I should try a different brush. There we go. So it definitely doesn't look green on me. Like it looks like gold. I don't know, it's weird. I'm just gonna put it on top of the blue too. I really like how it looks on top of the blue. It looks really pretty. But the blue still shows through. Oh, 
Hopefully you guys can see that. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to put the Champagne Harbor here in the inner corner, but I'm just going to Okay, so I got cut off because I forgot to clear my memory before I put the card in there. Um, but we should be good now. So again, I'm not sure if this was called one or not. Um, I'm using my Lavish. This is to the spoolie and the concealer brush, but this is a liner, so I'm just going to use it as a liner brush. And I'm just going to use the same color scheme on the bottom. Alright, I'm just going to smudge the blue before I top it with the sea foam. Okay. And then we're just going to use, I'm going to clean the brush because that blue is super dark. So I have my little like color switch. It's not an actual color switch, but it's the sponge from the Frida Kahlo line from Ulta. Um, I've been using that just, you know, to switch back and forth between colors and it works really well. Honestly, I'm really upset I didn't use it before because I've had it for a very long time. <laughs> Okay, and then like I said, we're going to use Champagne Harbor in the inner corner, and I don't have the kind of brush I normally use for that, do I? No. Okay, so we're just going to use, this is a, supposed to be a smudge brush. I don't know what kind of smudge brush this is, but it's from MLTD. It's nice and thin, so it should... Work just as well as using a lip brush. Ooh, that Champagne Harbor is really nice too. Right. Yeah, um, the shimmers are really, really nice. The blue, um, I think it's because it's not like a matte matte. Um, like there is, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, like when you pick it up it looks kind of matte, but then there's like a little bit of shimmer in there. I think that had to do with when I blended it, it kind of disappeared a little bit, but it's also like not super overpowering, so I honestly really enjoy it. Um, so I mean, I can swatch the only two colors I didn't use in the palette on my hand quick. And they're both really pretty colors too. So there are the two colors that I didn't use. And let me open it back up. Okay, so the gold, this one here, is called Golden Reef. And then this is Sea Salt, the pinkish one. So I mean, the palette looks decent. Um, I did get it from Ipsy as a part of a deal. So I paid $10 for three items. So I did pay the full price of $25. Um, but you know a lot of times there's like deals on stuff on Sephora so you may be able to catch this like on with like a discount coupon or something but um, I do think it's worth it. I honestly wish I had the bigger palette so that I had more to work with. Um, it's not like the palette's bad it's just like I like matte 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 shimmer on top 
maybe two shimmers if that but like it's a lot of shimmers in one one small palette i wish i had the big one so i had more mattes to work with um but all in all i mean the palette's not terrible i guess we will go to cheeks next now i have used this before it's a little dark for me I'm gonna use, this is supposed to be a highlighter brush, but I always use it for blush. Um, this is Lexi's Tapered um, Highlighter Brush. All right, and then I'm going to use the After Hours. I don't have my fan brush, so we're just gonna use something that I still have in here. Um, this I have used for highlighter before, so we're just going to go with this. And again, this is the shade After Hours. And I have used this before as well. It's a really nice shimmery highlighter. Um, I forgot about the mascara, so let's go ahead and apply the mascara now. Looks like a... Oh, okay. It has a curved wand. So here's the wand. But the bristles are still super small, so I like that. I am going to use the mirror in the bronzer blush duo to apply this just because I want a mirror that's a little closer to my face. Okay, let me go ahead and show you one side with and one side without so you can see the comparison. So, I mean, it did something, but my lashes are honestly already long and curled. So, this side has it. This side doesn't. Um, I mean, it definitely made them look fuller. This is supposed to give a lot of volume and length. Let me see if I can layer it. Hopefully it doesn't clump up with me. Okay, so I put a second layer only on the top lashes. Definitely give me a little bit more volume. Let me do the other side. Okay, so here we have one layer versus two layers on the top lashes. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the second layer on the second lashes so that they match. So it's definitely a decent mascara. Um, it does layer, so it does give a little bit more volume when you put a second layer on. Okay. So, I mean, it's not designed to be layered, but I honestly just wanted to layer it. Out of curiosity it just says to use it in one swipe but I just wanted to see what happened I didn't have a bunch of clumping going on so it can be layered if you want to layer it um, if you want to give yourself just a little bit more volume um, it didn't give me a lot more volume um, but I mean I definitely don't need the curl my my lashes are naturally curled so the curl really doesn't do anything for me um, so that's not something that I look for in mascara but I definitely look for you know the lengthening and the volume just so that you know you can really see the lashes are there. Um, I don't have a lipstick, so I forgot a lip product. So I'm just gonna grab one from the lipsticks that I have sitting next to me. And one of them's empty, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. I don't know what I wanna use. Ooh, this is the Hades. Okay, I'll probably use this one. Yeah, okay. So this is more of a nude. So this is the Villains Collection from ColourPop. I love ColourPop's lipsticks, so, um, and then this is Hades, so, I think all the tubes look the same, but I'll show it to you anyway. So there's the tube, and then Hades is like a really nice cream, not cream, but it's a cream lipstick, and it's like a neutral shade, so it's perfect to go with this blue. Okay. 
Yes, I love that color. You know, this is my first time using this and I'm kind of upset that I didn't use it sooner. It doesn't tell me how long it lasts. It's weird. I'm just gonna assume it's six months. Then I have to use this by December. <laughs> we'll just go with that. Okay, so let me put you back. My second choice would have been Ariel. Ariel is also a nude. Um, this is the other one I have over here, which it me got messed up when I was on vacation. It broke. I had to melt it back together. So this is the other one I had. But this is too red for today. Um, this is the Evil Queen. Okay. So anyways, I can't really show it to you because anytime I open this shoe, it falls out. Hopefully you saw it from a distance. But yeah. Um is that all? Is my face done? I think I think my face is done. <laughs> yeah. All the products played well together. Um uh, let's go ahead and set my face using my all nighter setting spray. So I'm not going to do a wear test. I believe the first time I wore this, I did a wear test. I don't remember. I can look at the video. Oh, no. Let me see. Okay, yes, I did a wear test the first time I wore this foundation. So if you want to see my thoughts at the end of the day with this foundation, you can go ahead and check out that video. I tagged it in the beginning. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with new videos. New videos are always going to be coming. Um, I am guaranteed to put at least one up a week. I try to do more than that, but with the way scheduling is with the pandemic and everything like that, it's kind of hard to do more than one in a week, but I am guaranteed to do at least one every single week. So press that subscribe button to stay up to date with the new videos. Um, yeah. You can share it with your friends if you want to. You really don't have to, but it's always an option. Um, I will, again, tag my link tree down below if you want to check out any of my other social media. There are some times where I will do looks that aren't a video. So that's on my Instagram, and I'll upload sometimes to Twitter and also Facebook. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.